morning everyone good morning it's another build day here in the Philippines and it's a fast and furious morning fast and furious morning I've already been out and got people just going every direction you see it looks like a bomb went off in the yard and uh, we're extending those columns up on top of the house I'm sorry just hit this so fast pace but they're waiting on me out here <laughs> And uh, they want me to get my car moved before they go mixing concrete. Gotta appreciate that. See right there, they poured that column there and extended it on up. And now they're extending the other one there to the right. They need me to get my car out of the way. So I'm getting it backed on up and out of the way. Busy, busy morning. Then I have up on top, Mott Mock and um, Uncle Malone and a couple other helpers. And they are beginning to set uh, uh, strings and steel and all of that to build the room up on top. The final room up in that middle between those columns actually from right there to where that black tarp and all is there. That looks awesome. So I asked Miller and some of the boys here to get this big, we call it a buck. This was the buck for our front door when we put our front door in. And um, I need this all the way up there on that top roof deck because now this is gonna become a window opening buck right above that front door. And look at this boy you know you know you got a uh, province girl country girl and she's just out here whacking coconuts with a bolo and drinking out of it boy she don't mess around <laughs> and you made me thirsty I wasn't talking about the juice baby I wasn't talking about the juice <laughs> with Melinda's uh, coconut chopping interlude there and reminder public service announcement of why if you're with a uh, Filipina that knows how to use a bolo you better act right <laughs> mm -hmm. Melinda's gonna shave all this out of these coconuts right here and render her some fresh coconut milk for us some nice chicken curry today Heck yeah. She's gonna do this all by herself and you know why? Because she has girl power. <laughs> So here we are, we're beginning getting a wall formed up right here. He's tying up those electrical boxes there on the conduit. This is up in the foyer area here, where this foyer is going to be two stories tall. But there he's getting that started. I'll give you a better look at it from a distance out here. Up here on top, there's the front street. It's the middle of the house. That's where the foyer is, where that tall bamboo. So that's what we're doing right there. Now, 
this is the only height we're gonna build this at. It's right here. The eight foot of the eight foot sheets. Is, I don't have to have the four or no super mega mega high. It's already gonna be nice and high. And this one room in the middle here, it's okay with me if it just has an eight foot ceiling. It's gonna be easier to air con. So uh, I'm not looking at trying to build the tallest structure around. So we're just gonna do one pour eight foot high and then we'll make a little form around the top edge for the roof deck and that'll be it. Um, let me get them started here on the next thing. You guys are doing great, boy. My mock is not messed around at all. He's already got the uh, wall prepared over there. He's um, putting in the window buck already for a side window that's gonna be there in the foyer to let that morning sunshine pour into the foyer. This being the easterly direction down through here. Right over here, this wall's here to the side. Let that nice early morning sunshine come into that foyer. That's going to be nice, nice. Um, then, meanwhile, they've got their cocoa lumber prepared along the bottom here for wall. He had to turn one of these outlet, uh, junction boxes around. He had put one facing the wrong way. They got that turn around. That only took a second. Um, right here. There's going to be another window in this room here. We've got the window buck laying right there for it. So it'll be a window. And then here, another window. Same thing. Letting that early morning sunshine into this room here so it's nice and bright. I could be. I can go see. By special request, boom, chicken curry. The smell made me chicken curry. Chicken curry in a hurry. I said, what? You've already made it that fast? It's cool. It's a fast food. Man, you really knocked that curry out quick. I was surprised. Mm, 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 mm. Man, and you got rice inside? Yes. Which kind of rice do you cook? Just half enough, half black, half white. Oh, uh, you did a blend on it, huh? Yes. Well, man, I'm ready to eat, but Mel, that looks so good. So good. Man, I love that curry. You get you in a bowl. Let's eat kaun. You get you in a bowl, okay? Or for you that's up there, up north, that don't know kaun, well then I'm gonna say kain tayo. Kain tayo. One, that's ka ta. That's enough, you're, you're right? Yeah, you're funny. You can have that neck. I ain't wasting my time on that little old neckity neck. There's some big teeth here. They need some meat sink in. Don't be so picky, man. You know, you see, this my bell pepper and uh, that basil I add on it. Your basil and your bell pepper? That's pretty cool. Okay, go dig it. Mm mm mm. Mm -hmm. You're a good woman. Taking care of me always. What about you? You gonna get your bone come eat with me? Yeah, I saw in the cabinet that. Melinda had a whole bunch of jello that she brought from the U.S. and it was sitting there and never got used yet. And I told her, shoot, you made some a while back, about a month ago, didn't you? Yes. And I said, man, make some of this jello and put it inside because that jello will get uh, bad in those paper boxes after a while, especially in these humid conditions in the Philippines. And uh, it'll all go to waste. So, yep, she jumped on in there and did that for us. We can share it and kids have fun with it. And we enjoy it. Got a bunch more of them too. I told her use it all before we go start making these treats. Uh, it's the neighborhood over here next door again is already having brownouts today. And it wasn't scheduled, probably just a power outage, probably damage on the line somewhere. And so uh, once again, we're so blessed to have this solar. You see, this would have been two days back to back. 
we are so blessed to have this solar so we're in here doing our thing and look here the batteries it's uh noon and we are full charged on the batteries look at that yep full charged so we're needing plywood up on the top floor for the walls they got enough they did walls down one side on the outside but now they need sheets for the inside i told them to jump in here and pull these bolts let's pull these sheets off the ceiling and then we're going to return a brace back in the middle after they get the sheets down here let Tulin let Tulin get out of the way first so I stopped recording got up here helping them and actually I just stopped them and I was the one I took my walking tall hammer right there and got up here and did my damage did my work Do is push up on that. There you go. Yeah, and now take it out. See, there you go. Yeah, and everybody's safe because that is a lot of nails there. That is a lot of nails. Well, you see, Nardo gets right after instantly getting those dangerous nails out. No waiting. Those nails are dangerous. We can reuse those nails upstairs. Clean those sheets, and then those sheets are going right to the roof up there. that out yank that bamboo out that? yeah pull it on out get out of the way of it now just pry it down stick it over the top pull down No time, boy. You see it? They get right on them nails. Oh, 
off the sides up here. That's just a few minutes for that grinder. Yep. Light. Light. All the lights. Ceiling fan in the middle. Everything here on the wall. Got a receptacle, light switch, and a lamp next to the bed. Both sides. On both sides of the bed. You know, I'm an old schooler, so I'm gonna say on his and her, but you know, whatever it is, out there, uh, both sides of the bed, king size bed in there, for the king of the castle. Check that out, man. They are rocking it out now. They are. Look at that. Tell me that ain't bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Look here, they're already getting all the coca lumber and bolts on this side. Yeah, I just got to mark where all the electrical is going to go in there before he can close it up. So, I'm going to try to record this if I don't get the crap beat out of me by this tarpaulin. I mean, it is whipping. I think there's a rock right there. It's slapping me. It sure is. There's what it's hitting the hell out of me. There's a rock right here tied in this thing and it's whipping up and down. It knocked the heck out of my head twice. Man, this tarp's kind of crazy. Hey, untie that tarp behind you. Mock, mock, untie that.
Man, that is dangerous right there. I mean, that can do some serious damage. Whipping up and down like this is with a stone tied in it. Mm. Dangerous, man. That stone, that's what knocked me in the head twice, man. Hit me hard. These guys are making it happen, man. I just can't tell you how proud I am of them today. Super proud of them. I was kind of stern with them this morning. I said, man, I just want y'all to focus on one thing, and it's getting walls up for this room. And, uh, man, these guys ain't no joke. I'm going to tell you who the superstars are. The superstars are Mott Mott and Ambin. Of course, Uncle, he, he's tried and true, man. Tried and true. I ain't, I ain't dismissing him at all. But uh, today, Joel was absent. Not surprised. Uh, I hear that he uh, had a friend that hung around. Tanduai. Kids. Been flying kites all day. That's a pretty cool looking kite right there. I wish you could see it better. Uh uh uh. It's, it's gonna recover. It's a pretty cool little kite though. That's that kite they were flying just now. It's a bad little kite. I like it. Ah, oh, you made it yourself too. Man, that's a nice job. Good job, man. It looked good when it's flying too. Who made that? Who who made it? Me. You? Well, good job, man. I like it. Who was flying that kite that was up here high today? That white kite. Who was that? Man, it was up there far. Well, this one's pretty cool. It was really flying around everywhere. I like that, man. Good job, dudes. Yeah. I mean, it, it flies really nice. That's a good design on that. Man, it was really getting it up there. So cool. All right. Well, I think we're going to close out this day. It's been a successful day. I'm ready to just go chill out. Just take it easy. And we're going to have another big, exciting day again tomorrow.